Today we're going to learn how to make hair sticks. The first one we're going to do is like this one. And here's another variant of it using a straight pin that doesn't have the pearl top and it's longer. And then after we learn to make that one, we're going to learn to make this one using a hardware picture framing kit and beads and beading wire and another variant of this kind using a charm and a jewelry jump ring and then the last kind is just polishing the hair stick with glittery nail polish or whatever color you want it's got no charm on the end and basic to make the one like this you will need straight pins that's where you get the pearl top at first thing you'll do is of course open up your pins and take out a pin and you will place your beads on it And you want to leave a little space at the end here so it fits into your wooden stick. And you can hear it's all the way to the end, so you'll have to stop there. And to get it to hold into the stick, you use E6000 glue. It's the best glue I've found to get these to stick real well. And you don't have to put a ton, just a little bit. And you gotta hang on to it for a while while it dries. And make sure you got it straight up and down so it doesn't dry crooked. I pulled mine out just to make sure and you can do this too that you make sure you get plenty of glue inside the hole so your bead will stick and I would not recommend wearing this or moving it from its drying spot which I dry mine like this, straight up and down, uh, for about a week, maybe two weeks. I'll stick mine over there so it can dry. And you do the same method that we did for this one with this one. Only thing different is this is a straight pin without the pearl and it's longer. On to my other two my other two that are like this. The beaded and the charmed one. And 
This came out of a picture framing kit that I got at Dollar General. And you can use the wiring I have out of the picture framing kit for your beads if you don't have bead wire. And your stick blank. You just screw this in. Till it's good, secure, and tight, and it won't screw anymore. <coughs> then you take your wire and bend around it till it's good and secure. Then you add beads, and you can add as many beads as you want. You can have one section and cut off the long piece, or you can cut them off both even and have two pieces of wire that you bead. But for right now, I'm going to show you on one. After I got all my beads on there, you just tie it off. And I'm using actual bead wire. And it comes on a spool. I said your little hair stick will look like it once the wire is cut off it'll lay more flat and you do the same thing for this and I said a charm it came with the ring there and all I done was added a jewelry jump ring, which I'm out of, to connect them. And you would, and the rings are open, and you'd need pliers, and you just gently close it. And thirdly, my nail polish stick. I'm not going to do one to show you how this is easy. Let me just shake your nail polish real good. And I use cheap old LA Colors, Color Glaze, Color Craze, pardon me, nail polish. And you just polish up and down evenly. And I did about half a stick at a time. Like I paint, polish this side, let it dry. Then I turned it over and polished that side and let it dry. And I put about three, maybe four coats on. And I even polished when it come to the tip where the hole is, I polished it full. And the sticks I got I bought them off of eBay. They come in two finishes, black and brown. And I can't remember their functional length, but I'm going to say maybe six or seven. And they come with the pre drilled holes. You don't have to buy the ones with the pre drilled holes, you can get the ones without. Instead of having the hole, there'll be no hole there.
and when you're storing your sticks, when you're not using them, I put them in a baggie, and I put one of them little uh, draw away moisture packs in. I don't have any other information about hair sticks. These are the only kinds I've ever made.